Welcome to the David Wafula YouTube channel, the official home of politics, where we cover policy, war, cataclysmic world events, and traverse territory that our peers fear to tread upon. The top six fears of any human being in life is poverty, criticism or rejection, ill health, old age, death, And loss of love and one of the worst is criticism or rejection I remember one time when I was probably 12, I had a crush on a girl called Alice. Now Alice of course is just a name I'm using to cover the real identity of this lady who might even be married today as we speak. So we went to the same primary school, it was a day school, and one day she invited me over the weekend to visit her. So I put on my only good pair of shorts, I quickly ran to my friend's house, he's called Simon, and I collected his best shirt and shoes and I rushed to see this girl. But my best outfit was still not enough to impress her. They were very rich actually and I remember sitting at their outdoor living room. At this point I'd never even seen such a house. A house which has an indoor living room and an outdoor living room. But either way I was scolded for a good 20 minutes about my color clashing <laughs> and just technically looking like a joker when at the back of my mind I thought I've pulled out the best uh, outfit that I could at the time. Now funny as it is that's a very traumatic core memory. I still live with it till date. So I can tell you for a fact from experience that rejection is not easy. And Mainan Jenga is the latest member of the world to face rejection. Now why do I say this? Mainan Jenga has been running around saying how Uru Kenyatta will hand over the stick of leadership that was handed to him by Kikuyu elders down to Mainan Jenga. In other words, Mainan Jenga believes he is to inherit the leadership of the Agikuyu from Uhuru Kenyatta. Only for Jeremiah Kiyuni to come out and lecture him about such ambitions. The same way I was also lectured about my quote-unquote color clashing. Either way, <laughs> here's what uh, Jeremiah Kioni had to say to my Nanjenga and I quote, There are people here who are planning to hold meetings in Mount Kenya. They should stop involving Uhuru Kenyatta. Continue with your plans but do not carry his name in your meeting. Now if there's one tribe which many people find hard to understand is the Kikuyus. If they like you, they like you with all their heart. And if they hate or disapprove of you, this will never change. Uru Kenyatta is the best example. Where else in Kenya can you find a tribe that will go against their leader's wish? Especially when the said leader is the sitting president of Kenya? Nowhere. So Mainan Jenga has been rejected by the Kikuyus, and he has now even been rejected by Uru Kenyatta, who himself was rejected. Because that's really what it is. When, when Jeremiah Kioni speaks, it's as good as Uri Kenyatta has spoken. Mainan Jenga, in my opinion, has had a good run, but he shouldn't clown himself. Rigathi Gashago is the de facto leader of Mlima Kenya and is also their kingpin. And even in the absence of Rigathi, there is still a very long line before they even consider Mainan Jenga. There is Didi Nyoro, there is Kimani Ishungwa, and even Irungu Hangata, who can surprise many people and rise to become somebody out of the blue. I am hearing he's seriously working in his docket as we speak. So moral of the story, rejection is painful, and as I have shared, I too have been rejected at one point or the other. So my Nanjenga, let's both agree to move on. Wachana na mambo ya kingpin, hiyo si yako. Hata mimi mambo yule mschana niliwacha zamani na maisha imeendelea, hiko tu sawa, there's no problem. So let's agree, if you are rejected for a certain position or whatever, just move on. There is no day Mainan Jenga will be the Mlima Kenya kingpin. That is just an outlandish dream. But as usual guys, that's just my opinion. Do let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Mainan Jenga still has a chance to inherit the quote-unquote kingship position from Uru Kenyatta? Or is that just a dream that cannot be achieved? I'll do my best to read your comment and to give you a response. Now in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and 
and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.